and they look much more professional than acrylic paint especially if you're using gold or white and I couldn't miss this opportunity and do this thing <laughs> yeah uh, I have no idea if this is a neon thing uh, because I don't have a blue light lamp I got it a few years back in Aliexpress I don't have a link, but it's plenty of them if you Google it. Uh, the price is pretty cheap and I really do like the quality that I got from this. This white thing was from a Coscraft store, uh, which I'm gonna leave a link down below. I'm not sponsored by them, uh, but their shipping are cheap in Europe and they have a good variety of wigs and materials and patterns to use for you. So as a maker, I can highly recommend it. Now, let's get down to it. So the first thing we're gonna need uh, is to make our pattern. And I believe she's wearing one of these things, but I don't like this type of pattern that connects around your face. I believe she's wearing a one piece, but we're gonna do a cut in here just to give this face shape. We either can do this on ourselves, kinda don't recommend because it's going on your mouth and on your nose, but it always works. And we're gonna need uh, to wrap it. We're, we're doing this just because it will be easier to take a duct tape off from it and now we're gonna take uh, our tape and we're gonna take the face uh. now when we have our head all wrapped up we're gonna take a marker I have a white one but it really doesn't matter what kind of you use and I'm gonna draw a shape that I want I will start from the middle because we're gonna have a cut in the middle to make a shape more beautiful and I'm gonna mark the middle and then I'm gonna mark where else do I want it to go and I'm only drawing it on one side because we can just flip over our pattern and we're gonna get the same result so and we're gonna cut it out I just realized that I can cut it out and not entirely, I, I'm not cutting it through here, I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna eh, just like that cut out the other side so I could measure it because I know that my mannequin's head is not the same size as my head so I need to measure the mask on me how does it look like and then I will know should I make it bigger or should I make it smaller <laughs> I'm delighted to flip the camera so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about like this so yeah you're gonna take this full part and we're gonna measure it yes and what I can see from this cutout is I have a good line here but I need just a tiny bit in here so now we're gonna make our pattern fully and I have this side uh, and I know that this is my top and this is the bottom and on the bottom I need it slightly bigger so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trace it at first and for the bottom I'm gonna do it slightly bigger now this is our original size uh, the part that is just right for our face but because we're gonna sew it together two parts like that 
because we're gonna sew inside as well so that it will be comfortable and beautiful from both sides we need to make this part a little bit bigger on the fabric because we're gonna need additional fabric and you're gonna see why uh, in when we were gonna go and sew it so what I'm gonna do I usually add this much of fabric because uh, at some patterns you might see that there's like that much of fabric added my personal choice is this one but you are gonna find your personal one uh, along your work and how you work now cut it out I have this black piece of fabric and our pattern I'm gonna put it on and trace it four times uh, make sure that you're tracing in the way and then direction you want your, your fabric to go because sometimes fabric have textures so look at that I'm actually doing this mask on the bad side of this fabric because this one has a lot of texture which I actually don't want and this side is pretty smooth and black and I'm gonna use this one so for tracing my fabrics I use these tracing soaps which draws really well and you can clean it really well it's uh, it sells in um, sewing stores but if you don't have money or you don't want to buy this the really or don't have it on your hand uh, a really good tip is just to use a piece of soap this is a leftover soap which is really uncomfortable to use and we're using them for drawing and they do their job just as good and it's basically the same thing and actually soap washes off even better because it's so so um, and yeah, I'm gonna trace it actually with this one because I can see that this one leaves a lot of dust the one from the store and my soap just makes really perfect lines on this fabric so I cut out all four pieces and because this fabric is shedding like and it can rip off as you can see I'm gonna do and I'm go over it with a just a simple zigzag stitch all around the edges so that our mask will be durable washable and will keep for a really long time now what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take two of our pieces and the other two and I'm putting them to the top in front and the good side in front of me this is a bad side so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip them like a sandwich and I'm gonna sew a line right here and sew them together but before that we're gonna take it and we're gonna pin it with pins really gently so that it won't slip or slide now we also gonna take our pattern and it's a bit dirty because I draw teeth already on it but we're gonna take our pattern and I know that this is the top side uh, I'm gonna put it and around I have to sew my line somewhere around here if I want to get like we talked before the original size of the mask so it should be somewhere around here I'm gonna show you it should be somewhere like like this okay so now when we have our part which looks like this this is a good side and this is a bad side we need to flip it out so that it will fit on our face the only problem is it doesn't flip out really pretty what we're gonna do we're gonna take this seam and we're gonna iron it open like this and now when we iron it this flat we're gonna flip it over and as you can see we have a beautiful seam which I don't know if you can see because this is all black 
and black color likes to be black but yeah it looks nice and more smooth comparing and this is the one we didn't do it has a bit of a difference so let's do the second one now the fun part the ornaments what I did is I already took a pattern uh, which I used for the mask and I draw the all the ornaments how I need them to do now I'm gonna cut them out and I'm gonna trace them on both of these because this is not necessary you can do this just with the white or any color you want but I'm gonna make my mask flippable from both sides now the thing with this we're gonna cut these teeth out and we're gonna took a marker any marker and we're gonna draw it on the glossy side the matte side should stay clean and the glossy side is where we're gonna draw anything because when we're gonna iron this we're gonna peel it off and the gloss uh, sticker won't be on our fabric and we won't damage it okay so I finally cut it out it's probably the longest part of the whole thing and I have two of my masks and what I'm gonna do now I have a reference picture in front of me which you cannot see because it's in my computer screen I'm gonna take half of the mask and I'm gonna gently put out where I want the ornaments to be and I have to not to forget that I need some space for sewing this so don't put it up like this but have some a little bit of space so I think it's best if I fold it and I'm gonna put it where it's supposed to be so when I can see that everything fits the first parts I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this and that one uh, I highly don't suggest uh, ironing all of the parts at the same time because they can move and it's gonna just get destroyed so I think I'm gonna just use the frame one, framed one first and always have a spare really thin, th thin fabric and just put it on top yeah. so I'm gonna press to one side and really carefully gonna start ironing it now I'm not gonna peel off the surface now we're gonna do that later when we're gonna have all our details but it's starting to look like something and I'm gonna put the second part So I halfway ironed it as you can see and now I'm gonna put the cloth and I'm gonna press the iron a bit harder. Uh, you can actually from up close see if the sticker is going into the fabric or not really. So that is what we're doing. The glossy coat, yes, like this. And we have a clean ornament, or in this case, tooth fang. 
And this is it. You have your clean, ready to go ornament on top. So yeah, this is how a gold looks like. I just finished it. And it's shiny and pretty. And you can see it's all in one piece. And I really like it. Okay, so now we're gonna connect them together. For that we're gonna need uh, some pins and elastics because don't forget we're gonna hook them on our ears. So we're gonna put them together, good side to good side. Make sure it's all even. And I'm gonna pin them on, on the sides. So now when we have everything pinned in place, I'm gonna take the elastics and I'm gonna put them inside. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take this out and this, make sure that this just doesn't go anywhere where you don't want to sew it inside these seams. I hope you can see it, it's, I know it's really hard because it's about black fabric, but it goes like this, like a sandwich. You have to sandwich the elastic in between. And let's do the same with the other side. Yeah, so now we're gonna sew it all around, except in these parts, which you will see why you need them free. So now we sew it all, except these parts, and I'm gonna take out the pins. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open one of the holes and pull it all out through the hole outside. And yes, you need patience for that, but I believe you can do it. Now, there's a two ways how to finish it. You can just iron it and put these elastics right in here and sew it in with your hands or something but we're not lazy and we're gonna do it the right way because this thing is going on our face now we're gonna do we're gonna iron the seams around here from the inside so we have to flip it out again so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the seams and we're gonna flip them over like that I hope you can see it it's it's I know it's hard to see but we're gonna flip them over and we're gonna just iron it So after finishing uh, ironing it, it should look something like this. All the seams goes up. And now we're really gonna flip it all out and iron it from the other side. And it's not a lot of left to do. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the mirror and we're gonna measure we need for to hook it on our ears and we're gonna cut the excess elastic don't forget to mark it where it should end and remember these holes we put inside of here that's where we're gonna put our elastic in like that And now all we need to do is sew a slim, simple line in here with the sewing machine and it's gonna be done! Whoop! And here you have it! So yeah, you probably cannot do it really well, but this is what we came up to. So yeah, and I can. And the best part of it is because <laughs> I, you can only see my eyes. I don't have to wear makeup underneath. So yeah, and this is the gold side. The white side and the gold side. So yeah, and this is the gold one. You can see it's really shiny and I actually like it a bit more because it reflects the light really well. Woo! So yeah, this is 
my tutorial, my video. If you're gonna do this costume, um, use it, uh, but you don't have to do it like that. Also, I know there's a holographic ones as well in here. Uh, you definitely don't have to follow my tutorial, but it's some information I can share with you. I hope I'm not too annoying for you. This is crap. So yeah, hope you like the video. Have any suggestions what I can do next? Leave them down below in the comments. Um, yeah, see any things you can do differently? Also, leave it down in the comments. I don't mind. <laughs> the more interaction we have, the more I can make. And one more thing, if you really enjoyed this video and if you want to see some more stuff from me, there's a coffee link down below and you can buy me coffee uh, and I use my coffees to make stuff like that so yeah <laughs> thank you for watching hope you have a nice time bye